Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a compound inequality with or. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, solve 2 thirds x minus 4 is less than or equal to 3, or 1 quarter times x plus 8 is greater than or equal to a negative 1. We want to graph the solution and write the solution in interval notation. Well, let's go first start with our first inequality. A lot of first there. 2 thirds x minus 4 is less than or equal to 3. We're going to solve for x here, so I'm going to add a 4 to both sides here. Not too bad. And 2 thirds x is less than or equal to, like these fours cancel. And 3 plus 4 is a 7. Now I want to multiply both sides by a 3 halves here. It eliminates the 2 thirds on the left, so I have x by itself here. It is less than or equal to, well, 7 times 3 is a 21 over 2 is just 21 over 2. Not too bad. Now the second one. We have 1 quarter here. x plus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 1. To get rid of the 1 quarter, I multiply on both sides by a 4. 1 fourth and 4 cancel. We have an x plus 8 here. It is greater than or equal to negative 1 times 4 is a negative 4. I subtract an 8 to both sides here. And we have x by itself here. It is greater than or equal to negative 4 minus 8 is a negative 12. And we have our or statement x is less than or equal to 21 over 2, or x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So let's go graph these inequalities here. Well, we're going to go jump some values here. There's a lot to put in here. We'll go from negative 12 to 21 over 2, which is 10.5. So if I go by, well, let's get a picture here. We have 0, and then we have, let's go by 5s, 5, 10, 15, and then negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Our first one here is 21 over 2, that's 10.5. So x is less than or equal to 10.5. So I'm going to put that here, that's a 21 over 2, if you can see that. And we have a closed circle there. Now it's not the scale, but I think you get it. Closed circle means it can equal the x value, or equal to 21 over 2. And so x is less than that, our arrow goes to the left. All right, what about a second one? X is greater than or equal to negative 12. So negative 12 right here, X is equal to that. So we put a closed circle, put it down here, and X is greater than that, and it goes this way. Now this is a little different than our previous example. Notice there's a lot of overlap, but the question says we have to solve uh, their inequalities in or. It says X is less than or equal to 21 over 2, or X is greater than or equal to negative 12. And so really every single number is covered here. Every single number is covered. X, any number you can say qualifies for one of these designations. And so if I was to put this on a graph, put a 0 again, 5, 10, 15, and then negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. I'll use a different color so we can see it here. This would actually be on the number line in both directions. Infinity in both directions there. All real numbers are solutions to our, our inequality with or, our compound inequality with or. So how to write this in interval notation? Well, x can go down to negative infinity, and it goes all the way to positive infinity. And there we have it. Our solution here is x can be from negative infinity to positive infinity from a compound inequality with or. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a compound inequality with or. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.